Hello everyone and welcome to PV Engineers YouTube channel. In this video we are going to discuss about curve and measurement of curve. Generally we are designing two types of railway tracks. One is straight track, another one is curved track. Our desirable is straight track only. But by the geographical conditions and exceptional circumstances, we go for curved tracks. There are two types of curved tracks. One is horizontal curved and another one is vertical curved. Vertical curves are having up gradients and down gradients. Horizontal curves are classified into three types. First one is simple horizontal curve. They are simply left hand curve and right hand curves. Second one is compound curve. Compound curve is if a curve starts with LH side at the end of the curve, another LH curve is started with then another radius. In this curve, two RH curves are there. Third one is reverse curve. If a curve started with RH side at the end of the RH curve, LH curve will be started. Between the two curves, straight track may also be provided. While designing the curved track, we have to choose an appropriate curve. We have to consider the curve as a complete circle. Then we have to draw tangent lines for the circle. We should not give the excess radius for the curve and also we should not give the minimum radius for this curve. We have to choose the appropriate radius for the designed curve. Always we should go for a strike track, but the geographical conditions, river, pond, hill, like that, we have to go for a curved track. While designing the curved track, we have to choose the appropriate curve. The minimum radius of the curve will be omitted, also the maximum radius will be omitted. We have to choose the correct adapted radius. And we should know about degree and radius and what is the relationship between the degree and radius. While a curved track is measured by 100 feet length of curve, that is 30.5 meter curve, and the angle suspended at the center of the imaginary circle is degree. And the length between the center of the imaginary circle to the curved arc is radius. Next, we can see what is the relation between degree and radius of the curve. When we consider a circle, the circumference of the circle is 2 pi r meter. Then, and we know that the total degree of the circle is 360 degree. And for 1 meter length, the angle will be 360 divided by 2 pi r. Then the angle for the length of 100 feet, that is 30.5 meter length, degree will be 360 into 30.5 divided by 2 pi r. Then, degree is equal to 1750 divided by radius. And also we can say, Degree into radius is equal to 1750 meter, 1750 meter for 1 degree curve. If it is half degree curve, the radius will be 3500 meters. For 2 degree curve, the radius will be 875 meters. Then we should know about super elevation in track. Super elevation means to counteract the centrifugal force at the curved track, the outer rail is raised with respect to inner rail. When a fast moving vehicle is going on the curved track, it will be act on centrifugal force. To counteract the centrifugal force in the track, the outer rail is raised with respect to inner rail. Next, we should know about what is sign and how to measure the sign in a curved track. In a curved track, each and every 10 meter is to be marked as station. 20 meter card is to be used for measurement of wear sign. The 20 meter card should be placed in first and third station. The wear sign to be measured in the center, that is second station. The straight length between the card and curved arc is known as wear sign. For all the stations, wear sign super elevation and gauge are to be measured. Next, we can go for curve inspection and measurement on curve. 
Each and every cow should have the cow boards at starting and ending points of the cow. The cow board consists of cow number, whether it is a RH curve or LH curve, the curve kilometer starting and ending, degree of the curve, radius of the curve, length of the curve, the transition length. The curve consists of three portions. The first two portion is the entering transition portion. The middle portion is circular portion. The complete circular is given in the circular portion and exit transition portion. The entering and exit transition portions are given because the sudden turn in a curve is should not be given. The gradual transition is given to a curve. At entering and exit portion of a curve. The gauge variation in curved track is given as for more than 350 meter radius the gauge should be minus 5 mm to plus 5 mm and less than 350 meters radius the gauge is up to 10 mm. Now we can see how to measure the gauge super elevation and version in a curved track. In a curve every 10 meter should be marked as stations. The curve portion is starting at station 0 we can start start the measurement from station minus 1 and minus 2 also because we have to take an analysis this is gauge come level in this we can measure the gauge the white dial is plus gauge and red is minus gauge here gauge is plus 1 by the split level we can measure the super elevation curved track in plane track we can measure the left low or right low of the rail here we starting from minus one station gauge and super elevation can be measured by this gauge come level Then we go for 0th station. Gauge need gauge. Super elevation is 0. Next we can see how to measure the version. The version should be measured in the outer rail of the curve. The 20 meter card is placed in minus 1 station and 1 station. The version is measured at 0th station. The version scale should be placed 13 to 15 meter below the rail table. The straight line between the curved arc and to the card is called as version. Here version is 0. While measuring the version at station 1, the card should be at Station 0 and Station 2. Here the version is 8 mm. In the transition portion, the version and super elevation will be gradually increased. Station 2 version 16 likewise the transition portions version and super elevation will be gradually increased. At station 2 version is 16 mm. 
Likewise, we should measure at station 3 version 24 mm. The gauge and the super elevation should be measured for all the stations. Gauge, need gauge. Till reaching the circular portion, the Versailles and super elevation will be increasing gradually. Now we reach the circular portion. In the circular portion, the Versailles and super elevation will be constant. The version is 67 mm. All the stations in circular portion, the version and super elevation should be constant. Gauge plus two super elevation is hundred mm. When we entering into the exit transition portion after completing the circular portion, the super elevation on verse sign will be decreased gradually when we reach the straight track the version and the super elevation should be zero at the end of the curve the curve board is available i think this video is very useful to you for more videos please subscribe this channel thank you